Today are lessons on rounding word problems. Here is your learning scale. We are going to be working on level three of this learning scale, which is rounding multi-digit whole numbers to any place. Here's your learning goal for today. I can round multi-digit whole numbers to any place. Here are some rounding rules or some guidelines to help you with rounding. First, you need to underline the digit you are rounding to. So let's say you're rounding to the hundreds place. You need to underline the number that is in the hundreds place. Circle the number that is directly to the right of your underlined number. If the circled number is five or higher, add one to the underlined digit. If the circled number is four or lower, the underlined digit stays the same. The circled number and all numbers to the right become zeros. So let's practice some rounding. Round to the underlined place. So here we have 2,578. I'm rounding to the hundreds place. My first step is going to be to circle the number that's directly to the right, which is the seven. The seven is five or higher. So I'm going to add one. The thousands stays the same. I add one to the five, it becomes a six, and the rest of my numbers become zeros. So 2,578 when rounded to the hundreds place is approximately 2,600. Let's try another one. Here I have the two that's underlined, it is in the thousands place. I'm going to circle the number directly to the right. The four is four or lower, so the two stays the same. The three in the ten thousands place also stays the same. So I have 32, and then the rest of my numbers from the circled number on become zeros. So 32,458 is approximately 32,000. Let's look at another example. Here I'm rounding to the ten thousands place. Now the ten thousands place is underlined for me. I'm going to circle the number that's directly to the right of the ten thousands place. I see that the two is four or lower. So this four stays the same. So I have a four and then everything else from the circled number back to the right become zeros. So 42,489 is approximately 4,000. Let's try one more together. So I have the 9 underlined and the 9 is in the 10 thousands place. I'm going to circle the number that is directly to the right. The 5 is 5 or higher. So I'm going to add one to that nine. Well, if I have nine plus one, I get 10, right? So here I'm adding one, but really it's going to regroup, isn't it? And it's going to move over to the hundred thousands place. And this is going to become a two because nine plus one is a 10. So I have two, the nine becomes a zero because I regrouped it over here. And then the rest from the five over becomes zeros. So 195,489 is approximately 200,000. Now let's try this with some key words. So if you see these key words in your word problem, please know that you are to round before you give me an answer. So if you see the words about or estimate, you need to be rounding the numbers in the problem before you do any type of operation, which would be addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Here's an example. And remember, we're going to use our cubed strategy. Kara found 516 seashells on the beach, and she gave Peyton 149 seashells. 
about how many seashells does Kara now have? All right, so first I'm going to circle the numbers using my cube strategy. I'm going to underline the question, which is about how many seashells does Kara have now? I'm going to box the clue words. So about is a clue word because that tells me to round. Okay, and gave away is also a clue word because that clue word means to subtract. All right, I don't have any information I don't need, so I'm not going to eliminate anything. Now I'm going to solve the problem. So I have 516 and 149. Remember, this about told me that I need to first round. I'm going to round to the hundreds place because both numbers have hundreds. So I'm going to underline the number in the hundreds place, circle the tens place. The one is four or lower, so the five stays the same and the rest become zeros. I'm going to now underline the hundreds place in the other number. Circle the number directly to the right. Now the four is four or lower, so the one stays the same and the rest become zeros. Now gave away tells me to subtract, so I'm going to subtract and my answer is 400 C shells. Make sure you label those numbers. Let's try another one. Nicholas owns 298 books and Lyndon owns 337 books. About how many books do they have together? Remember we're using our cube strategy. So we have Nicholas with 298 books and Lyndon with 337 books. Now I'm going to underline the question about how many books do they have together. Let me box those clue words. About means I need to estimate. And then how many books do they have together tells me I need to add. I don't have any information in this problem that I don't need, so I'm going to skip that step. Now I know that Nicholas has 298 books. Lyndon has 337 books. Remember this about told me that I need to estimate, so I'm going to do that. You are going to estimate to the hundreds place because both numbers have hundreds. I'm going to circle the nine. The nine is five or higher, so I add one to the underlined number. The two becomes a three and the rest becomes zeros. I'm going to do the same thing with 337. I underline the hundreds place. I circled the ones place. The three is four or lower, so the three in the hundreds place stays the same, and the rest become zeros. The clue word together told me to add, so I'm going to add these two values. So my answer is, together they have about 600 books. All right, now you try this one. Davis has 815 red balloons and he gave Dylan 425 of the red balloons. How many red balloons does Davis have now? Remember to use the cube strategy when you practice this. All right. And remember our learning goal. I can round multi-digit whole numbers to any place. Now that you're done with this lesson, think about where you are in this learning goal. Thank you for your hard work and I will see you tomorrow.